Hello guys, so as you can see I have the PT timer rules laid out on the screen and I have this here because I have some pretty exciting stuff to talk about because I can help you get more legendaries in the upcoming banner, uh, specifically in the upcoming last banner, which is going to be a 250 guarantee. That means that uh, if you summon, uh, if you if you manage to summon for 250 times, you don't get last. In the 250th, you will get last f uh, guaranteed. So that's an interesting uh, mechanic because uh, of the way that normal banners work. So this is why I have this one here. In a normal banner, which is uh, which effect is also present in the last banner. In a normal banner. If you, for example, are unlucky and you hit the 200 summon mark without no legendary summoned, the summoning chance of a legendary is going to increase by 5% for every single pull that you're gonna make. So that means that in about the 205, 215 summoning mark, you are guaranteed to get a legendary. But um, yeah, around around those uh, those numbers. So uh, that's interacting pretty interestingly with the guaranteed banner, regardless if it's last, if it's anyone else's. Uh, this is a trick that uh, I've used before. I think I've used in uh, in the brief banner, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, so the trick is uh, to summon up until you get a legendary, and then switch the banner, summon a legendary in another banner, banner. And because the PT saves up, so to say, and then you can use the remaining legendary or the remaining ancient summoning crystals that you have to summon up until you get the guaranteed last. And that works if you don't get last in the first 250 summons. So I know it's a little bit hard to wrap your head around, but I, pr I prepared a graphic for uh, for you, so it's going to be easier to explain. So this is the graphic. What do we know so far? In the normal banner, if you have a fresh PT or Mercy, some people call it Mercy, I call it PT. Um, it's kind of, it's very unlikely to get a to get um, legendary in the first 50 summons. It's slightly un uh, unlikely to get uh, a legendary in the first 100 summons, although it happens. I know it happened to me before, and. Um, it's, it gets a little bit better towards the 100 and 150 mark and in the right here we know that the closer we get to 200 summons the better we the most probably we're gonna get the, uh, the more probably is that we're gonna get the legendary this is not encoded into into the game though mistaken it by increased chances the chances are you of you summoning um, Legendary is not going to increase just by summoning more. It's going to increase only at hitting 200 summons But uh, statistically speaking people get summons between uh, Or receive a legendary summon between uh, these uh, areas here. It's like unlikely in um, up until the 50 slightly unlikely up until the 100 in the, into the green into the yellow between 100 and 150 it gets a little bit better people usually get between those areas and uh, after 150 it starts to get more likely okay so that means that around the 200 mark uh, you're gonna get legendary in a normal banner if you are kind of unlikely uh, unlucky <coughs> so uh, how do we combine that we can uh, if you have a fresh PT and you start summoning into the last into the last banner let's say you get uh, semi lucky and you get a uh, legendary that is not last around the 180 mark right here. So that's going to be our first legendary. This is 180. Okay, so the 180 mark, right? Awesome, you got a legendary, you know that you're going to summon uh, for uh, last because you want last. So that means that uh, you have around 70 summons left until you get her. Okay, so uh, what you can do, uh, knowing that you are going to summon for last uh, anyway, and you have, if you have the resources, let's say you have another 100 summons, 170 summons left, you can use the 100 summons that you have in another banner and hope for another legendary. Let's say uh, you summon 
you're very lucky and you summon um, legendary at the and you summon a legendary at the uh, 90 mark here in another banner that means two legendaries right so you have two legendaries at the 90 mark you got your second one in the different banner that means that you can summon with the remaining 80 um, up until the 250 to your last banner so uh, you get with the remaining summons you hit the 250 mark and you get last as well so that means three legendaries right you get three legendaries in how many pools let's see we have 180 here with 90 that's 270 and with 70 that's uh, i don't know 340 so in 340 summons you got three legendaries which is quite good you know that's how much uh, one legendary every 105 or so summons so that's pretty good right it's almost as good as a one plus one if not even a little bit better so what happens if you have you are a little bit more into pt like i am i am uh, 144 uh, summons into pt so that means that um, if uh, in my next i don't know um, 56 summons i'm going to get the legendary most probably so what i can do for example is uh, knowing that in the next 56 summons in the next 56 summons i'm going to get the legendary excuse my bad writing here that means that i can start summoning in the last banner right let's say i get the legendary at the 50 mark I'm gonna delete everything that I've uh, edited so far so I can start over again so it can be easier to visualize so at the 50 mark I get a legendary right that's my first legendary um, and then I keep summoning on this banner for example and I go up until the 220 mark that would be I don't know how many else uh, that would be uh, almost close to PT in in terms of, uh, of I mean banner wise so I get another legendary here at let's say 230 let's say 230 I get another legendary at 230 right and then because I know that in 20 summons I'm guaranteed to get last I start summoning in um, another banner that's going side by side so I summon here I get let's say I get unlucky here and I summon a legendary at 180 right I get one legendary here at 180 and I summon 20 more times to get another legendary which is going to be last because it's guaranteed right so how much would that make right let's say let's not make a full out of myself and grab the calculator because I'm a little bit nervous since YouTube it's <laughs> a new thing for me. So 50 plus 200 and uh, hold on a minute. Okay, 50 plus 180, which is the difference between how much I've summoned from here up until here, and then 180 again, which is what how much time it took, how many summons it took for me to gather. Uh, another legendary in the side by side banner and that would be 410 summons so that would mean a legendary every 100 pull so that's quite amazing that can go even better if you have better pity than i am than i have that you can get even luckier let's say you don't go up until 180 in the second banner you get the legendary in uh, i don't know 70 summons right that lowers with that lowers the amount by 110 right so that's going to be even better stats that's going to be 300 pulls that's going to be four legendaries in 300 pulls that's going to be amazing so uh, this is why i think it's uh it's not a 
you don't, you're not tricking the system. This is the system, right? So this is not abusing it. You cannot get banned for this. You just plan and strategize using the PT timers and the banners that uh, are present in the game. So uh, yeah, I hope the explanation was um, good enough. Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask away in the comment section. I'm going to try and help you all and uh, if you want I can um, I can even um, try to make calculations based on your PT. So uh, if you if you feel like this graphic is going to help you, I can also um, put a link down below where you can access it. Even though it's <laughs> not anything that you pro can probably help you, it's just visualization. And uh, I don't know, let me know what you, th what you think about this video, what I can improve on, and if you have uh, any questions I said, feel free to ask, and uh, I don't know, see you in the next video, hope this one helped. Bye bye!